overlay out there. A question I got earlier today was why don't more UK manufacturers do motorhomes with slide outs? Well, this company do. And those are the layouts. And this is the Motor Trek Euro Trekker QB for a queen bed on a tag axle. And it's a very smart motor. So let's have a look. Go in the front first. And what you notice first of all is the massive space that you've got in there, this motorhome. It's a huge kitchen area. And it does it does remind you a little bit of those American trailer homes. You've got loads of space in here. Let me just sit down. And you've got a nice little standalone table there, L-shaped lounge, lots of storage everywhere. Very nice, very nice lockers, and lots of them. Some little lockers over here, but this is on the slide out unit, remember? So that bit there, just there, that's the bit that comes out. Full cooker facilities, obviously. Three burner hob, combi oven. And moving over, you've got the uh, Dayu fridge and a fridge freezer, big fridge freezer, obviously because you can fit bigger kit in here. Nice vanity mirror, travel seats, drop-down bed, skylight, and cupboard space over here lots of cover space. And here's your shower, nice square shower. It's moving round, that bit closes off and you've got a very stylish toilet area. And bench type, flush. And to be perfectly honest that is really not a big fan of areas in the middle of the motorhome but that is brilliant and just gives you so much privacy so moving into the bedroom more cupboards hanging space both sides cupboard that's it. That, yeah it's there domestic style 240 volt sockets TVs up there at the end of the bed it's like a vanity area here it's quite deep more lockers over here this, this bed is massive this is the other slide out here obviously that bit there to there that's the slide out you can see it better over there so that gives you no problem getting around the bed and getting in and out of the bed. Again, there's more lockers over there. But yes, this is a lovely motor, really nice. Leather upholstery. Excellent, on a Peugeot, six speed Peugeot. Let's have a quick look at the specs. So 160 brake horsepower, six speed engine, air conditioning, usual sort of things, Alco chassis. Uh, it's got a 100 litre wastewater tank, 125 litre freshwater tank, an LPG gas tank, and you're looking at 91,999. So bear in mind that Swift that I looked at, the Contiki, was 96,000. This is something you could compare it with. You've certainly got more space in here. Yeah, I better go, people are waiting.